Xuzhou is very special because of the landscape. The original landscape was very natural, very relaxed. Those landscapes have been here for million years already, and now we're changing them. To build this memory or connection to the landscape, a space that's similar to the beautiful landscape around. I think I consider this space a void in this uh, new town because we often talk about objects, functions, uh, those positive things. But I also think architecture can be negative, can be a void, can be a space. We want the architecture to disappear. And we need a space for people to have a moment to dive into another dimension of space and time. So I want this space to be very engaging and inviting and interaction with the public. It's a little bit like a land art project. When we enter the park, when you see the future mountains, like green volcanoes, it's quite an artificial, surreal environment. So when you look at from outside, right now you don't see this uh, concrete thing underneath the landscape. You only see the steel roof look like a floating cloud floating above the green mountains. It's very light, but when you enter the building, you will find out the structure inside the mountains, underneath the green. I imagine those space to be very strong, very heavy. And uh, when you see those columns, they have a rhythm. I find this is a, a discovery process. The public space needs to provide people that escape from the daily life, from the reality.